Hi, how are you doing? Hope you are well and safe and having a great day. I'm having a fabulous day today. The sun's shining, but it's not too hot. It's just nice. I've sat in the studio and I've just finished uh, this painting. Now this uh, is an exercise for everybody. It doesn't matter what app you are using. I'm not sort of really looking at the app at all. I'm looking at the process that I used to come up with this painting. And basically I took a painting by Monet and I used that as a basis to paint in the style of. And I used to do this a lot when I was uh, first getting into watercolor over 35 years ago or more. I pretty much painted every single painting uh, using this technique, i.e. I would look for a source photo of um, an artist, it didn't have to be a famous artist, just an artist that I like the style of. And then I would paint my own picture, trying to emulate that style. And you can learn so much using this technique. So this is a step-by-step, -step, fully loaded video. It's quite long actually. Uh, there's no cuts in it. I go right from step one, right the way through showing you every brush stroke, how I built up this painting, trying to emulate Monet. I didn't, I didn't emulate Monet, did I? But I had a lot of fun producing this painting and uh, hopefully you will get some tips on how to improve your painting as well. So let's get straight into the video. So I'm in Rebel today, um, but you could use any any software you want to follow this lesson. You could use uh, Art Rage, as long as it's got a thick paint. Um, Art Set Pro, I'm not so sure as if Procreate has still got a decent thick brush, thick paint yet. If you know otherwise, put um, a comment below. That could be helpful for me. And um, what I'm going to do is show you uh, a workflow that I, um, I've used for over 30 years when, um, to improve my own, own painting. And basically, what I do, I look for an image uh, or a painting of a famous artist like uh, this Monet painting here. And then I look for a similar um, source photo to paint. So I usually begin actually with the photo. So uh, this here is my reference image. This is what I'm going to paint. And it's of a, a canal near Shardlow where I live. And um, basically I want to paint that. But where do I start? So when I was beginning painting, I used to look at, well, I used to buy uh, art books. The, the internet wasn't really a thing in those days. And I used to buy art books or get them from the library. And I have a, a, a huge library of, of uh, books on painters and stuff. They don't have to be famous painters. They uh, <clears throat> just have to have an image or a painting in there that you like the style of. And I particularly, like this Monet picture, just zoom in a little bit. And I love this sort of detail in the brushwork. You can't really see that. It's a bit blurred when I zoom in. And I love the color scheme. So basically what I'm gonna do, I am gonna use this Monet painting um, as a reference. And I am going to try and paint my own picture which is this photograph that I've taken but you can get an image off Pixabay or anything like that. I'll put a link uh, in the comments for this uh, picture if you want to use this particular one but what you really want to do is when you've got your source image look for a painting by a famous artist uh, with similar elements in it so we've got like this dark tree here which 
similar to this one over here we've got these lovely trees like this we've got the water the reflections to paint so and the sky so i've got everything in this source photo that's in this uh, painting by monet so i can't fail can i <laughs> uh, well probably can but uh, anyway this is what i'm going to do today and you can use any paint app so it's not about learning how to use rebel or learning how to use critter i'm just using rebel because i wanted to use the thick oil paints and um i was toying with the idea of using art rage or not but um i think rebel is a uh, more up-to-date apps get supported more so at the minute um i'm preferring to use rebel for i hope art rage bring out art rage 7 soon that would be really cool so i could have a look at that but let's stop talking and get painting i am going to move my um what I'm going to do, I'm going to move. Oh, I'm using an app called Pure Ref. I'll I'll talk about that a little bit more. But basically, see this this is in an app called Pure Ref, and you can get it to stay on top of the uh, painting app. So I'll put a, a a link in the description for that as well. So you can get it for free. So I'm just going to move that onto a different monitor at the minute. So I could use that and then I'll keep bringing it back when I think it's relevant. This I'm going to shrink down in size and I'm going to put over the um, tilt window because I, I don't really need that uh, at the minute. So I'm ready to go. So let's start painting and I'm using oil paints. Um, I'm going to use some of these thick oils, but at the minute I'm just going to get something in with the uh, thin paint I just want to kind of get a wash over the old thing and bringing this back uh, just for a second I'm really into these uh, blues sort of turquoisey blues and these oranges so that's the color scheme we're going for so let's uh, and, and I do like to pick my own colors I'm not interested in picking them off I wonder if you could actually do that I wonder if pure ref just as just as an exercise for you i'm just going to choose the picker tool can i pick it off here no you can't you can't pick a color off the pure ref you cannot off here that would have been cool but uh, i didn't think you'd be able to i just thought i'd give it a, a little try just as an experiment right so turquoisey blue for the sky just just want to get a kind of a I, I do like to get things i've just pushed my reference image out of the way whoops let's get that back I do kind of like to um just get things covered pretty quick i can see it goes a little bit more turquoise towards the green so we get down here so i've just added a touch of green into that wash um a bit more blue up here quite as bright as that you can also see it's got some purple which is great because i've got this blue sky coming in here so i can was round and uh a bit of purple in show you that see we've got this purple color here so i'm going to use that this is a great way for learning to paint uh, and like i say i've been doing this for uh, years and years and years not so much these days i kind of um i found my style a lot um more recently so I don't quite need uh, to 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 do this as much as um, I used to when I was learning. But when I was learning, I, I literally painted everything. Everything I did was um, painted in this this style. So I'm going to bring that in for the water. Just coming over here. 
we've got some green and it's using kind of turquoise green it doesn't go out to this very narrow band of of uh, greens and blues all lean, leaning towards the uh, green end of the spectrum so you imagine um if you look if you look at the color wheel here where we've got the the blue turns into the green he's working within the kind of this band colors there and we can add a, a touch of uh, darken that up a little bit as well oh well, the brush i'm using is the wash brush if you're interested if you are using rebel but you could do this you know you don't even need to do this uh, on a, an app if you want if you was painting um Uh, with with traditional paints and stuff you could certainly uh, do this so now i can start thinking about painting a little bit of detail in and i'm thinking about the buildings and if we if quickly bring this back one more time zoom in we can see i think he's got an outline around the buildings in places so that's something we can uh, think about back out of the way so my buildings are, as you can see, over on the left-hand side. I need to change the brush. What about that? Just as filbert for this. Um, let's go for a brick color. I kind of want to stick with these oranges, so I'm I'm changing the color of the photo. That's um, like this. Well, they are fairly orange in there so I'll, I'll stick with the a similar sort of thing I'm just going to sort of rough them in I feel that's quite nice actually Do I need to make them a bit bigger? I don't think so. I'm all on one layer. I'm not, you know, I'm trying to make in this a sort of a, a, a generic painting experience as I can. I could have, I probably should have put this on a different layer to be honest. I'm letting that blue glow through. I quite like that. I'm just going to, um, the control key now the alt key to pick a color up it's gonna use the color in the background just to sort of sharpen that edge up a bit it's kind of cool yeah like that uh, and he's got a bluey color on his rooftops uh, Sort of that colour. Yeah, that's, that's nice. You, you can learn a lot from, uh, you know, about colour theory by analysing uh, these uh, paintings and, and get a lot of good ideas. I, I improve your own paintings. I'm using the alt key a lot here to pick the colours off off the off the page, and I, I'm not, you know, I, I am allowed to put my own style in as well if I want. Um, we've got bright green in this photo. Can you see here? We've got bright, really vibrant bright green. Um, yeah, but I've got to resist. Got to resist that because I want to um, use these sort of greens that we've got going off there, and also he's using. If we look at this distance, we've got yellow and dark blue. So I've got I've got to kind of stick within that palette if I can. I can't away again. So that's where I'm going with this. 
get to those sort of turquoisey green colors this foreground grass hmm. it's interesting okay i can go with some yellow i think some yellow in as well Cool. And that goes to about there. I did a, a series a while back called uh, Painting in the Style of, and I did a Monet and a Rembrandt. So if you haven't seen that before, uh, it might be worth checking out. And I, I talk a lot about the artists uh, more uh, and uh, they're sort of bit about give it a little bit of history of the, the sort of uh, life that they, li uh, that they lived I was partic particularly um, fascinated by a, a lady painter called Rachel Rush that was a Dutch uh, oil painter that, that painted uh, flowers and uh, she was amazing absolutely amazing and uh, I thought you know back in the 1600s or whenever all artists were, were blokes I, I just thought it was a sort of male dominated uh, domain but it wasn't, it wasn't, and Rachel Rush was like the, the, um, botanical painter of the day, uh, which was absolutely news to me, and, uh, really, uh, put me back a bit, to be honest, so that's worth checking those videos out. You want to get a little bit of history. I'm just sort of blocking colours in at the minute. So I'm I'm sort of looking at the colour. The only thing I'm really doing with the Monet is looking at the colour scheme. And I'm not really too fussed at this stage uh, about the brush strokes. That that will come will come later. That's in a bad place, isn't it? Right in the center. Uh, well, I suppose if I think this out and make it a clump of trees like that. Then it's not in the center, is it? We've moved it across a bit. And it's going to take a shape like sort of like this. Come over there. That's moved it way off center now. Sometimes you 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 have to just uh, take a few a few liberties just for the. Um, artistic license as it were and we've got this nice dark tree over here a bit more red actually got these reds going off that's quite nice that's a uh, Nice complimentary. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I am feeling it. 
I'm, I'm still just using that fill, but these trees are green here, but I'm going to make them these nice rustic brown tones, I suppose. It's going to deepen it up a little bit. Having a nice small thumbnail, it's great because you can actually uh, see where you've got, oops, where you've got lighter areas, where your dark, dark tones are. So I can see I've got some dark, dark in there, got some dark there, like that. So that is nice, that's nice. I'll put a little bit of that in this as well cloud wise then uh, we've got a huge cloud sort of but i like his little wispy ones so i might just change it up a bit we've, we've got these more wispy little clouds so i'm borrowing that from from the monet Notice how he's got these sort of uh, distant clouds, look sort of straighter. Just bring that back so you can see that we've got these nice horizontal clouds going off there. Oops. Nice horizontal clouds, and then this round, probably missed that one out, but these, and then these dark tones as well. Might be worth exploring, but that that will come in a bit. I'm just sort of getting some shapes in at the minute. It might be nice. There we go. Um, I'm kind of block got it all blocked in there. This is going to come down like this lot. So that's stage one, pretty much finished. Now, now we're going to start looking at uh, the brush strokes. And I quite like this oily brush, uh, this rough oily. So whatever app you're using, you're going to need to look for a nice thick uh, oily paint. Uh, let's just bring this back again. It's you can see if I zoom in, we've got these nice thick oil strokes. Look at all the colours in here. You know, I've got, if we look at my thing, I've just got blocked in one colour and there's hundreds of colours going off there. We've got to try and uh, work into, so all very exciting, very exciting. <laughs> I am. I'm excited. I really am. Uh, let's so let's think about the sky first of all. So with this oily brush, um, we've got this sort of purpley colour. He's still w not massively out of the uh, green side of the spectrum, but it just looks. more purple because we've got everything else green i think look at that nice thick stroke that is what we're looking for so i'm gonna i might try the rough oil wet see that might even be better yes so while i'm working on this i now need to um keep changing the color i'm going There we go. And I can just pick the colours underneath a lot. I can just use the Alt key to pick up these colours uh, and just add some brush strokes and then I can just sort of refine it a little bit if I want. So sort of coming lighter and darker. 
like that. And I'm looking at the reference all the time to try and um, emulate the Monet, the Monet style. Uh, if you like this, if you think this is a um, you know a worthwhile exercise, and you'd like me to paint, I mean I have done a series painting in the style of, but not anything like this before, where I've analysed every brush stroke. If you'd like to see me painting the style of other people, like uh, you know Van Gogh, um, maybe even Bob Rost. <laughs> Please uh, comment, comment in, uh, below. I do read every comment, by the way. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm really bad uh, um, responding straight away. I do. I've pretty much replied to every friendly comment uh, on the channel ever. But sometimes it takes me a little while to get round to to, re to respond in. So uh, I do apologize for that. Um, I've tried, I've tried so hard to uh, catch up and then think right now I'm going to, when a message comes in, I'm going to reply and I'm just too busy. I just, there's always something else that, that needs doing. And, uh, but I do eventually I'll sit down and put an hour or two aside. Quite often it will take me an hour to go through every comment and write a re reply so i don't just read them i do reply but sometimes it takes me a little while to get to that so having said that what i'm saying is um, if you'd like to see more of this kind of thing because uh, i do actually i really do enjoy doing this um please comment below Brush size, I'm using 60% size, 100% loading, oiliness at 60%. But these brushes are, are pretty much straight off the shelf. I haven't adjusted any of the uh, water content or anything like that in these. Right, I'm looking at my photo. We've got some sort of grey clouds going off over here on the photo. So maybe it might be nice just to sort of pop them in a bit. Just need to just shrink this a bit so I got it all on the canvas. That's it. I have an habit of um, having bits of the painting that don't make the canvas, and then I just don't paint them, I leave them out, so I've got to be careful. So I'm sort of getting this sky in. I'm quite happy with that. I'm just doing horizontal strokes here. Bring a little bit of a cloud in there. I think we could have a cloud formation over here, to be honest. Um, we've got the space. It's looking a bit, uh, a bit bland. So as you can see, it's uh, we get in there. It's taking shape. A little bit of yellow in these clouds as well, so let's, let's uh, put that in. Right, these dark, dark uh, trees. I'm quite interested in getting these in. They they're kind of almost grayed off as well. My, I need to come bring this bush out a lot more. I was looking at when I painted it. I wasn't really looking at uh, actual shape. I don't think. I think. 
what was going off. I was more interested in talking. I think that, that's much more the shape. And it kind of goes off there like that. Quite nice, I'm liking that. Yeah, this sort of orangey colour, this bush in here. Oh, bit too, bit too vibrant that. Keep looking at the reference image and one of the problems you have is that you start looking at the uh, sorry the Monet painting and then I start painting bits out of that scene and forget that I'm actually painting a different picture entirely that's something to be aware of you got you gotta keep on the ball but when it comes to painting I need to just change the size of the brush a bit so I can get some more, just a little bit more detail in here. Got some sort of quite deep reddy colours in there as well. Let's sort of pop them in. So it's, uh, again, it's, I mean, I'm used to inventing colours. And um, I kind of got my own take on what the colours should be, but I'm forcing myself today to use Monet's colour palette best as I can. And who knows, this might change uh, my take on the colours or what I'm using. I'm feeling like I'm learning a lot already. I am putting more detail in. When I say detail, I'm more colour than I normally would digitally. Um, yeah. Yeah, a little bit more as well. And I, I don't intend at the end of this to have a painting where I say, uh, people go, oh, is that a money? <laughs> That's not what it's about. It's about, um, you know, just developing your, uh, improving, not developing, improving your own uh, ability to paint uh, landscapes or portraits, whatever you're doing. Uh, in the last series I did, I did, sometimes I was painting portraits, other times I was painting uh, landscapes. So whatever, whatever your take is, still got, I'm, I'm not red enough yet. Could still get a little bit more pinky red here. A bit too pink. Knock it back a bit. Too much, too much. I'm just gonna undo that because it's getting a bit messy. Let's hope I can get it all off. That's it. A bit better. There we go. Uh, 
I think I'm going to use this color here. Put my little bush in. A series of bushes there. The hedge, this little hedge goes up to the edge of those trees. Back to spit higher up than that. About there. Notice I didn't do any drawing. Uh, sometimes I find drawing really. Uh, I suppose annoying is the right, the right quest, the right word. Uh, I just want to paint. If I if if I want to draw, I will do a drawing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Um, so I I just like to wade in, and I'm kind of doing the same thing with a paint as I would with a drawing. I'm I'm just sort of uh, etching out the detail with the paint. In, instead of the pencil so I don't feel like I need to to particularly draw I think I've got to be careful that I'm not using I'm looking at his painting and we don't use thick paint absolutely everywhere um could be a mistake could be we'll see And I think if I was to choose, say, this uh, wash brush and put just put a color over that. Yeah, you see, we've still got the texture underneath. So that could be problematic. I think I'm going to just change my. Well, these I want to do the trees, so they need to be in thick paint anyway. So I'll stick with this brush, this um, rough wet brush rough dry brush that might be useful as well but uh, the rough wet one for the minute and uh, I'm going to think about these trees pick the color and we got these little wispy green trees in in the uh, source photo but I am going to change them dramatically I want to keep changing the color as well just to add interest I'm going to use the uh, paint and blend I think that might be quite nice give me a, a, an effect the size down a bit kind of painting some trunks in loosely like that look at my little thumbnail again those darks putting them back in Got some nice purpley colors going off here Let's get those in as well. It is a matter of just mixing lots of colors together. I suppose I should be thinking about putting like the darks on. First, so the opposite to it, I did that watercolor portrait thing the other week and where we went from light to dark I guess here I'm going from dark to light I 
what I do like about this tree is we've got this kind of chunk coming out a bit like that. So um, I'm looking at just bring this the Monet back again. Just got lots of skylight coming through here, which is interesting. I need to make sure I get all of that in as well. It takes doing this. It takes me a lot longer than my normal things because I use this all the game. Yeah, that's good enough, and it, it it isn't good enough. When you look at how the masters did it, like Monet, you realise you know how much I'm missing. Uh, I'm sort of stopping when I've finished a painting. I'm only halfway there, really, and this, this makes me think much more about the sh the shadows, the colours, everything. Pick that sky up and just pop a few little sky holes in. some darks in here Again, mixing up the color making sure I'm getting lots of variety all of the same kind of tonal value though at the minute all fairly dark so that's something that you need to think about as well So this, the, the, this, I mean, I could have just taken the um, Monet and just kind of copied it, really. But I'm not so sure you, you, you get as much out of it as uh, painting your own, your own scene. Uh, because you you then you have to start to analyze what is on the the uh, original master's painting and how he's interpreted that and then you you can then apply that to your own scenes and and, and I think you take away a lot more and you have a, an original painting when you're done and you don't have to say oh, I was studying Monet for this piece you can just say this is the painting I've done and it's in my style, you know. I love this blending. That tree to me looks so much nicer than this. So I'm just going to come back over here and blend this up again. I think the blending is much more in tune with uh, the original piece. Should really go, kind of go in and do the sky as well. And that a little bit. Yes, it just softens it all off a little bit. These sharper brush strokes are looking a little bit more like um, Van Gogh. Or Van Gogh, depending on how you pronounce it. I'll pop a few little sky holes in here as well. That that to me now looks so much better, blended. Let's do the sky as well. I say the sky I meant this side of the sky.
Yeah, look at that. This scene isn't really typical of Monet, is it? You, when you think of Monet, you're sort of thinking of um, the lily pads that he did and, and stuff like that. So when I came across this painting, I was really quite pleased. So I'm just sort of going over everything, just blending, blending colors back together again now. You can keep a few odd edges as well, of course. So just to define bushes and things. And you notice I've taken the bush size right down in place and just sort of scratched in um, a few twigs like that. And that's, I don't see that on Monet's painting anywhere, but I just like to do that. So I'm going to put that in anyway. Um, I'm, I am really, really enjoying doing this, to be honest. Uh, the weather's cooled down a lot, so that's nice. We're not in a mental heat wave like we've had the last uh, few few days it's got this kind of uh, it's a willow tree uh, hanging down there let's pop them in yes I like it um I'm going to pick that green and then make it a little bit darker under there, like that. And there we go. I, yeah, that's pretty cool. Back to these sort of orangey colors going off here and these bushes are like a, a line trees I guess Bush size a little bit won't go too small that's not gonna look right now I've, I've started to look at the source photo and I've got distracted from the style I'm painting in. So I've just had a quick look back at my Monet uh, original. And that's making me think, okay, Steve, um, don't deviate too much. You've got to keep this style going. shadow going across there quite like that can blend into it and soften it a bit Nice oranges, bright oranges over here. 
pop that I might just pop a little bit of that color up here as well that adds a bit of harmony sort of not just using the color in one place I'm hoping I'm kind of doing this justice where I've got to uh, got the detail and the, the form from the source photo and then all of this going off on the money as well let's, uh, I'm saying all the while I'm looking, I'm seeing uh, all the colors. Okay. And he's got some really darks. Look at this. Bring this back. Look here, down here. We've got dark, dark colors. I haven't got to be scared to get some darks in there as well. Be quite important. Got a few scales in that tree as well, and in these, they just oh, I've lost the control. The <laughs> interface and leaning on my keyboard I've touched the tab key just trying to stop these looking a bit like lollipops easily done looking at the shape of this tree and I'm thinking it's not it's not happening I need to just make it a little bit more tree like so it's sort of standing in front of those size down a bit got this branch yeah again this bit isn't in the uh i can't see anything painted like this in the monet style but you know it doesn't matter i don't have to follow it religiously you can do if you want of course because it's you know it's your painting so you know go for it uh, this way then we've got that actually comes in front of, this tree comes in front of the house and i have kind of not got that going off at all Mr. Tree out. Maybe that's the problem. I want it pretty similar, so I'm just going to move, I'm just going to adjust it a bit and put this other tree in here and then. You indications of So it's sort of like that, like that. Okay. 
better. And then I could put one more here. This tree going off here as well. Actually, that ties the whole thing together much better. I love the way these colours blend. It's really, really nice. Saying this was Rebel's introduction uh, to oils, you know, that this is the first release version of it. It's bang on. Why is that not picking up? Don't seem to get, want to pick up the, those dark colours. Got some shadows going off here as well on the grass. I mean, down there like that. Going on there. I'm going to use a flat knife just to smooth that out a bit, actually. Wet. Now, um, this wants to be blue. A bluer colour. It. Again, I'm looking at the Monet. Just bring this back again. Look here, these blues. So I, I want to try to get that in there. Andy doesn't paint. Look, let's get it back one more time. It doesn't paint straight lines. Just a dash. Here and there. You don't need to be painting straight lines. So let's let's not paint straight lines. I'm liking this, I'm liking it a lot. darker colour there and just juxtapose the light against the dark but when it goes around the corner I've kind of changed the photo the source photo look at that Let's zoom this out for you as well um, you see here we've got the light and I've chucked it into a shadow really just to um just so you can see it so it sort of stands out a little bit just goes past those trees a little bit just about there oops slip with a brush that's it that'll do uh, this green the green on top of that and then I'll put the light water just shimmering across there like that looking at that that's a big mistake because your eyes going to be drawn to that don't fall into that trap i do want a light color but not white um that's better okay. 
buildings then uh, these are going to be fairly straightforward i think i'm going to go with this sort of outline look I'm just going to soften the top off a little bit and that into there a bit of purple in his roof as well so let's put some of that in window we can we're allowed a window and that would be blue i want to put the windows in and the doors and things and then i'm going to paint the trees over the top of them again maybe a bit bluer than that i've got i've got them a bit dark that will do them up and then come back in my bush paint back over them You've got these little kind of um, licky brush strokes like that. Lots of blocks of colour. All the while I'm looking at this reference image, thinking, right, okay, we need some of that in there. A blue poking through, that green can poke through as well. Ah, cool. The highlights I'm 
then you can get on with this as long as you want can't you really it's just a matter of uh I'm not feeling up those windows are a, a little bit light. All right. This is a bit tricky because um, there's nothing on Monet's painting to uh, reference where the trees are overlapping the buildings. So I'm sort of making that up, but you know, you you can't have you can't get it all going off, can you? It just wouldn't. Uh, you're not going to get a, a source photo uh, and. Um, a master copy with exactly the same elements in you might as well just copy the original I'm just blending colors in there just to got some nice bright yellows in as well you know just a flick of here and there And then these sort of pale turquoise colours, dab of that, just a flick of the brush. We need to get them in. Not everywhere, just a little bit. That's cool. Right, going back to my, th I think these trees are the focal point, to be honest. So I'm going to do the same here. Just, oops, it's that tab key again. Just flick a few few of those uh, it's a bit of lime towards the lime side. I think just all we need now is the reflections and we're done, aren't we really? So um it begins with just bring it back to show you. It begins with these vertical strokes look. Great exercise this is. Vertical strokes and then once he's done all of that. He puts the horizontal strokes over the top so that's what we're going to do so i'm picking the same colors that i've got in uh, i need a fairly big brush for this i, th I feel i feel like i need to strengthen some of the colors up here as well Not necessarily got those colours in, but a bit redder than what he's using. Let's go to we'll try and keep it the same if I can. More orange. It'll just draw your eye to that as well a bit more, I think. That's better. That's that's more like it. Yeah. Nice. No, see, I can put them oranges in here. That's what I was wanting. I wanted something nice and bright in the uh, in the reflection. Right. 
Reflections are usually a tad darker than, than the uh, actual element in your scene. Straight away, I mean, that looks pretty cool already, doesn't it, to be honest? Can be interesting. Yeah. That roof in as well. Again, I'm just putting in vertical strokes. Make that a little bit darker. Now we could put the sky in as well. All of these colours, I'm just going to pick random colours, I think. I mean, you could almost leave it like that, couldn't you? One layer. God, I've not even thought about this path yet. I think I might just, I'm just going to get this path in, I think. Should be a bit bigger. And I've got to make this up because uh, he clearly hasn't got uh, a path going off. Um, I've done that too. It's just a bit. That's actually water there, so. Uh, the path kind of goes round like that. means that bush I put in there, that's in the wrong place. I need to go there more like that. Those together. That. Get the path in. Just a little bit of grey or sandy colour. Trying to work with the same colours I've got in the palette already. Call that purple. Use that as a sort of a shadow. Grass there. Move that across a bit. Right, I'll 
digging it, man. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I'm not liking this lime green thing going off here, so I'm just going to bring the water down. Kind of chop into that a bit. Maybe something like that. cool soften that edge off blur that out like that I'm saving these reflections till last uh, it's like saving your favourite bit of the cake isn't it Few leaves. Um, they need to be orange, actually, don't they? St sticking with the the palette we've got, and try and emulate his brush strokes as well. Keep forgetting. Uh, Vary up the colour a bit. This could lead your eye right to that. Uh, let's get the um, let's get the white water in, and I'm just going to get this colour here. Don't like that straight away. Let's just get rid of that. I slipped. Make the brush a bit bigger as well. And he's got these sort of. This is what he's really good at, isn't it? These swirly brush strokes. Notice how he's got um, on the dark, he's got sort of more grayed off colors. Gotta be careful how we do this. It's not just, um, it's not just white, is it? Well, this bit was going to be easy and it's not. I'm not analyzing it now. We want darker colors over here, lighter colors over this side. Slipped. Be careful I don't slip. It's white. So we're going to have them there.
This is nerve wracking, I tell you. Just trying to get them in the right place. I thought I thought this was going to be just so easy, and it's not, is it? Not at all. that blew out there that's it and he's got lots of quiet areas as well he doesn't cover it all Darker blue, but in the strokes, his darker ones tend to be a little bit thinner, and then he'll put a, quite a defined mark in like that. Man. I can almost see like um it's even put in sort of colour of the leaves in there as well, like that. Here is really busy uh, in this sort of foreground. I can um, up the up the ante a bit. Quite a few more. They're almost touching and taking over the scene. like that um, I think I can do a similar sort of thing maybe with the grass I don't know a few of sin I think I can have these coming down and a shadow there. Going that into that. That's nicer, that's better. Just gonna tidy this um this line up a bit. Oh, I think I could just put a few shadows 
maybe. Just coming across the grass a bit like that. The funny light on this photo because the uh, the shadows are definitely going that way, uh, going from right to left. Uh, it took me a while to actually work that out. I've been thinking maybe they go the other way, but no, they don't. I'm just fiddling, putting last bits of detail in to so that tree would have shading that perhaps. We've got that highlight there, that's cool. So put it there. I think. You know what? I'm going to put just one line in line because it's got that kind of thing going off just under there like that. There we go. Also, this green, darker green would be under there, and under there. Uh, maybe just a, a slither like that. That's better. That uh, ties up together, and I'm also going to put a bit of. I don't like the way that sort of. We've got this box shape here. I'm just going to um, bit of dark. A bit. Just breaks it up a bit. That's it. I think I've finished. I'm just going to sign it. Sign it down here. Oops. Moving the painting. You know what? That's way too arrogant. <laughs> to paint it that big. Look at them lovely brush strokes. There we go. Painting in the style of Monet. That's my finished piece. This is the Monet. Um, it's still a very rough version. I could spend hours and hours and hours on this, uh, I believe. But it gives you the idea, the concept, the workflow. And um, hopefully you get an idea of the pleasure that I got in um, painting this. So... Hopefully you will all have a go and uh, post your versions on Digital Easel. That would be really cool. I'd like to see them. That's the Facebook group, Digital Easel. I'll, uh, there is a link in the description below for that one as well. Um, you can post your pictures and I get to see what you've all been up to. So there we have it. Painting in the style of Monet. As I say, if you'd like me to do more of these in different styles, uh, just drop a, a comment below. Uh, that would be great. 
so i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have big thumbs up as always is much appreciated if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing i've got lots of videos like this and i would love to be sharing them with you so hopefully i'll see you all in the next one don't forget everybody stay safe stay sane and keep painting bye